Okay, here we are. We're live. And basically, we're going to talk about the VXN, which is a NASDAQ 100 volatility index and what it means. All right, back to the NASDAQ volatility uh, index. Welcome to stockmarketfunding.com. We're going to be showing you uh, weekly charts, both on the, uh, the VIX and the VXN. We'll start with the VXN. It is a fear indicator, basically, and it also equals NASDAQ 100 right here, as you can see. And up here, you can see NASDAQ 100 volatility index. And what is the key component of it? And what is why, why is it useful? Does it lag the market a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. But let me tell you something. If when I showed the Dow charts, and I just showed the S&P in those other videotapes, is what's going to happen is if I go up to the 200-week moving averages on both S&P and Dow, that means that I'm going to come down and put a bottom in. And basically, that bottom is way back over here in 2007 when everybody thought there wasn't nothing wrong in the world because they did it. And just let me show you a snapshot here of what happened. These are these long-term bottoms way back over here, 2006, 2007. And basically, when 2008 got around, we started building a base and some up moves in here. And then all of a sudden, we had the biggest breakout here on this fear indicator, meaning that when it was low over here, nobody thought anything could go wrong in the world and complacency was in the market there's no fear nothing can go wrong I'm going to be a millionaire who poo what I am going to tell you is that SMF pro trading students have been learning what this is like and the last market this last two big up week that we had we traded this one there and this one here but let me tell you what if we go up and test those resistance levels on the Dow and the S&P we're going to drop clear down here and put it a, a long a bottom in and it's going to be a blow off bottom here and a blow off top in the indexes and what will happen is we come down on a weekly level and we hit that lower end of that blow off bottom with the blow off top we're going to be buying calls on this and we're going to be shorting the NASDAQ 100 and what I'm trying to get across here is that when I called the January high, you can see here that this is January. We hit a blow off bottom and we had one heck of a breakout all the way up and we put a top in and we've been coming all the way back down and the markets have been grinding higher thereafter and ever since. And basically, I'm going to show the invert of it. The VIX is equal to what? S&P 500. And when I shorted the S&P 500 back in January, we had put a blow up bottom and a big breakout. And we put the top in and we came out of our shorts. And we actually, when we put the top in, we came out of the short and went long the 1140 call on the S&P. So we were short the 1150 and long the 1040 call. Just call me the trader man. And basically, there isn't any fear. Everyone is happy. You can take a look over here of this uh, long-term bottom here where we have these big breakouts. Now, we're at 17.77 here. But here's the deal. If the S&P goes up to 1225 or 1220 handle, that's going to be a big top at resistance at the 200-week moving average in the S&P 500. And we're going to see where this, these support levels get. These are very low levels, my friends. And these are the trend lines right here before thy eyes. And I can only tell you that we never go wrong with using this indicator. And the SMF Pro Trading students are going to make a boatload of money or will barrel full of money because 
when we put a bottom here, we're going to go long the calls and short the S&P 500. So in order for the S&P 500 to work, S&P 500 drops, and this would bounce, and they would go up. And you've got two trades working at the same time. And they're such, it's like planting new flowers. And they come up to the surface, and they start to grow a little bit, and they see a little bit of color. And then they start to blossom and bloom. And let me tell you something here. What we're going to be looking at is that no fear markets go higher when this goes lower same thing here and both of these are relative to those indexes this is the lower end this is where fear was really in the market and we've come all the way back down and this is a double bottom right now right here okay and so we're going to be watching this because we have never been wrong yet on how to trade this not only that, we have a mathematical formula where that's going to be and when that's going to turn. And basically, when we turn, when we put in the top on the other and we put in the blow-up bottom here, that means that equities will be sold short at the highs because equities will be falling off their highs. There won't be no follow-through through resistance when this trade comes into play here. So new students are learning about it and how it will work mechanically and our mathematical equations. Once again, straight down, no fear, right here, straight down, no fear. And they work invert. I've already showed the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. And those videos are being uploaded along with what this would look like for our pro trading students and how to trade it.